Are you ready? Sly Gittins here with another security tip. Today we're going to be talking about four reasons to upgrade your authentication manager to the 8.3. And before I get started, why should you update your software? Because nine times ten when you update it, they either fix in security patches, they're making product enhancements, they might be making slight improvements. So it's just great security posture, upgrade your environment. So there's no different with Authentication Manager 8.3, but we're going to cover all the new enhancements that RSD allows you to do with 8.3. So if you're an 8.1 or even 8.2, make sure to update the 8.3 because now you get access to be able to deploy the Authentication Manager in AWS. What's the benefit? of deploying in AWS. Again, that comes down to how you want to deploy it. Do you want to deploy it on premises, physical server, or do you want to use a virtual server, maybe VMware or Hyper-V? Or in this case, maybe you want to deploy it in the cloud. Why? Because it allows you to reduce your capital expenses. So now you don't need to worry about buying this, the additional software that comes with it buying the servers, the switches, power and cooling that you need for a data center. So this is the benefits of having a cloud solution because what I've been seeing a lot of my customers do is they have a primary on premises and have the replicas in AWS. I haven't seen a few of them say, you know what? We don't want to have anything on premises. We're going to do everything in AWS and they can do that now because now everything becomes an operational expense. So they've been billed monthly like a cell phone bill. They can predict that. They can put that into their budget and then administrators like it because it's easier they don't have to worry about putting in bids to get different servers getting hard drive amazon is handling all that portion for them so it makes it a lot easier for the admin and the end user experience so you might say sylvester how do i learn more about the aws and putting an authentication manager in the cloud take a look to the right here you can read get it started guide pretty solid the setup and configuration guide or if you rather, if you're a visual learner, watch my video on YouTube that talks about integrating RSA Authentication Manager 8.3 on AWS. And that's a pretty solid video. So let's go to number two, auto assignment of tokens based on expiration dates. This is going to lower time and lowest cost because now you don't need to worry about if that token going to expire or not. It's going to get rid of them automatically for you. Right? Number three, PAM, a Linux based agent that now you can leverage authentication manager or the cloud authentication service. So the big thing about this is not only can you do the hardware and software token, you can do multi-factor authentication, push to approve, push notification, biometrics, so et cetera. You can now do that with those Linux servers. Number four, the last one, is improvement on reporting is great because a lot of admins said, Sylvester, I want to see who last authenticated and what was the last attempt. So when I'm doing some research in A, do I want to get rid of a user? Well, I know now they haven't been using this token for the last three years. Why is it still assigned? Quick recap. We're going to lower your TCO. We're going to increase flexibility. We're going to give you additional visibility and we're going to increase the effectiveness of your admins leveraging secure ID access authentication manager 8.3. So my last question for you is why aren't you updated already? If you have 8.1, if you have 8.2, upgrade to 8.3 because the feature speaks for itself. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified.